Welcome to our how-to on food tracking. In this how-to, it's going to be a Q&A style interview, giving you tips and tricks on tracking your food. So Adam, why is it important to track food with a food log? So food logging and tracking just helps you give a plan that you can um, start to record your food and really start to identify any kind of patterns as far as your eating goes that are working towards your goals. So we want to find things that are making our food choices better and we want to also look for things that um, we can improve upon so that we don't hinder any progress. It's great because you can really personalize what you're doing versus just following a generic meal plan. You can really look at the things that you're eating and the things, the foods you enjoy and um, customize your plan based off of that. So um, another reason is the um, there's studies out there that show that while tracking your food, um, you can lose more than up to twice as much weight loss versus those that people that do not track food. So um, it just gives you a nice plan and um, simple measures for success. So if I have no idea how to log my food or where to begin, should I try to log my food every single day in the beginning? Um, in the beginning, you want to log as many days as you can um, because that's going to give you more feedback uh, going forward. So things like being able to correctly identify portion sizes, um, you can start to look at, okay, these are high calorie foods versus low calorie foods. So the more often you log these foods, you're going to really learn to pick up some tips and figure out um, how to dial in your program to fit your needs, whether that's weight loss or maintenance or whatever it is. Um, what you can also start to look at is um, what kind of ways do you like to track best? So um, one way that, um, for example, I like to do is I'll use my fitness pal, for example, and um, it's just an app where I can go in, I can scan the barcode and it will um, automatically upload the amount of calories and I just put in the amount of servings I have. Um, if you're the type of person that likes pen and paper or um, things like your Fitbit, um, all of those things will provide some guidance and um, as far as being able to track food. Great. Okay, what are some things that I should look for when I'm logging my food? So things to look for, um, you want to try to capture um, uh, as much detail towards getting high nutrients. Um, so what I'll look at is both the calories, but I also want to make sure that they're um, packed with full of vitamins. Um, things like lower sodium that are going to help you promote better health and also reach your goals. Um, certain times of the day, um, you can look at are you calorie loading at the front end of your day where you're getting all your calories and then you're still tending to either overeat or undereat towards the end of the day or are you getting more of a balance? So um, you can look at a couple things like that. Also, um, does stress eating cause you to make good choices or bad choices or what kind of factors, triggers are um, setting you up for success versus hindering your progress. Okay. What types of goals can I set for myself when I'm logging my food? So when I'm thinking of goals and logging, I'm thinking of making a SMART goal. So a SMART goal is going to be specific, measurable. It's going to um, make sure that it's achievable and realistic and then it's time oriented. So you basically want to set up a really specific goal that has an action involved into it. So for example, if I'll say Sunday, I'm going to go to the grocery store and I'm going to buy baby carrots and individually portion them out in a bag in this amount so that when I go to work for lunch, I'm going to make sure I eat those baby carrots. So what you want to do is just make sure you have the amount, you're going to have an action attached to it. When are you going to do it? How are you going to do it? And you have everything laid out in detail and that's going to um, really help you own and um, set you up for success hitting that target or building that healthy habit. Perfect. Well, we hope that these tips and tricks will help you to log your food and find that tracking your food can really be achievable. If you have any other questions, please stop in and ask a staff member.